G'day guys, GJ Bricks here, sharing my latest haul. So I've been doing some shopping on eBay and Facebook Marketplace in particular. Picked up a couple of wins, had some losses too. I think everybody knows how that goes. One day Horizon Express will be mine. But in the interim, I thought I'd share with you what I've picked up this time round. So let's start by getting these out of the way and then I'll start with the packaging. So, first one I'm going to do is this small envelope here. Now, I do collect the Lego minifigures, but I don't collect the entire sets. I'm not one of those people who feels I have to own every one of them. I tend to buy the ones I like. And I did buy a few of them and I got quite into the last series 18 sets. And I was missing a few, so uh, I bought a couple to fill in some gaps and I bought a couple that actually hopefully go with a mock idea I've got around building a balloon shop which is based around what my wife is doing. I promised her I'd build her a balloon shop because she runs a balloon business. So I thought it was a good opportunity to, to get her involved in my hobby as well. Uh, she's over the moon to have been given that, asked that question so I will deliver on that one for her. So this was part of that. There's some really good figures in the latest set, which I thought really went with it. So let's just open this up, make sure there's nothing in here that shouldn't be in here. There we go. All right, so we should have all went to plan. Ah, come on, won't come out. So, it's good to see we've got someone who actually knows what's in the sets without opening them. So, let's have a look in this first one. Number 13, I wish I could remember what one that was. Let's have a look. Ah, this was the race car guy. Yeah. Lots of fun, this one. I was quite sad I hadn't managed to find that one in the shops. So picking that one up on in the marketplace was great. Let's have a look. What do we have here? Number 16 should be. Can we get into it? This is the first challenge. Which one do we have here? Ah, this one is the boy with the balloon or the girl with the balloon? Hence you can see, ah, the boy with the balloon, there we go. So hence you can see the balloon shop connection there. Nice one. And then, here we have, oh, I didn't cut it far enough. There we go. I oh, still didn't cut it far enough. Excuse me for not wishing to go too far with the knife here. Right, what have we got in this one? And this one is the balloon girl. And last but by no means least, we have oh, one that doesn't want to go down into the bag. So I've probably just done what I was trying not to do on the other ones. Ooh. And there we have the cake. Excellent. So that will add to my minifigure collection. Now, next up, I'll start with this bag. So I've got a few, um, a few ideas for things I want to do in my city. I've started work on it, you can see in my other video. Um, part of that's gonna be collecting a lot of parts. So I'm gonna be using a lot of brick links and things, but keeping an eye out for bags of parts as well. I think everybody does this. So this one came up, was a, um, was a bag of gray bits. Now let's have a look and see how good it was compared to what's in the photo. It's always hard to tell, but when you've got one and a half kilos of gray bricks for a very, very, very good price, you tend not to ask too many questions. Look at that. Wow. That is awesome. How good is that? Look at that. that I think you will agree is a massive, massive win for grey parts. Look at that, that's great. So many big bits in there as well. 
awesome. You can do a lot of things with this. Oh, and there's a small plate as well. I didn't see that one in the photo. Ah, oh, pretty happy about that. And the best part is it all says Lego. Always a good sign. All right, let's open up the next one. So you probably guessed this is going to be very similar to that last one. Let's see if we can get into this one a bit neater. This is my first time doing one of these box openings on camera, so sorry if I made a couple of snafus, but I have seen the likes of Jang Bricks and Co. make their own boo-boos when they've been opening these up. So hang on, let me just get this last bit. Ah, oh, I see. Right, I have to go along here. Yeah. This is harder than putting the Lego sets together. Who designs these things? You get Lego on this. But I was quite pleased with how quickly all of these arrived as well after I ordered them. There we go. Let's have a look in here. Oh, there's the newspaper. Get that out of the way. Don't need that. And more grey parts. Yeah, look at that. It's going to need a bit of a clean, but that's rather good. Got some nice big pieces in there again. You can already see some parts I had in mind for stuff I wanted to do. That's excellent. Got a bit of grass in there too. Definitely needs a clean. Okay, that is awesome. We're going to have fun sorting through that lot. Last by no means least, I will start this one with a little bit of a background. Uh, this comes from something I have always wanted uh, and never had when I was growing up. And that was to have a certain line of the city sets that LEGO used to do a lot and actually haven't done. Well, they've done versions of police and rescue recently. but. I haven't really done any of these ones for a few years. So let's have a look. This should be a complete uh, harbour set. There we go. Ta da! So, like I was saying, I've never had a harbour set. Well, I've never had any of the Lego boats really. So, uh, saw this one come up, got it at a really, really good price, I think. Um, but it's a fabulous boat, did my research, I like the set. It fits well with um, the harbour I want to get into my Lego city. And as it goes, I've actually picked up another boat since this one as well. So I'm off to a good start with getting my harbour filled. Between that and uh, Destiny's Bounty, it's going to be good. So I'm looking forward, we'll be doing a build of this set and I'll show you where this sits in the city. I've got a few ideas around modding this as well to make it a bit more um, appropriate and modern to fit in with all the other sets, but what a great set, really happy with that. Um, hope you enjoyed my video, hope you enjoyed my haul and you're as excited as I am to, to do things with this and see what happens. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks guys.